Today's flow will be a heart opening, back bending flow. Opening up the front of our chest, our anterior shoulders, and creating strength in our upper back and our lower back. So without further ado, let's get started. This time we are starting in downward puppy pose. So hips above your knees, hands forward, shoulder distance apart, and set your chin or your forehead on the mat. Just find whatever is more comfortable. Okay, we need to begin to sink down into the earth. Let your chest settle down and slow down your breath. Take your mind to this mat here and now and feel the sensations of the mat beneath you. Be aware of the subtle sounds in your home. Take note of the smells and the gentle inhale and exhale in your From here, we're going to crawl up into tabletop position. And from tabletop, we're going to set our chin and our chest down on the ground, keeping our hips up in the sky. Taking this back bend to more of your neck now. Draw in your belly. Keep your elbows hugged tight by your side. From here, see if you can release your hands and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. Trying to bring the palms of your hands together if that's possible. Otherwise, do what you can. One more breath. And exhale, release your hands by your side. We're going to set our hips down, coming into a cobra pose. So peeling your chest off the ground using your hands to slowly push up. We're going to go from here to try to straighten our arms as slowly as you can, as far as you can. If your hands and arms aren't straight, that is a okay. If you made it all the way up, enjoy. Otherwise, find halfway and enjoy that there as well. Option to gaze up to one. One more breath here. And come onto your hands and knees again into tabletop position. We're going to lower our chin and chest down toward the ground again. Snake forward, coming into cobra. Push up into a high cobra. And back into tabletop. Once more, lower down, chest and chin, elbows by your side. Push up to cobra. And this time we tuck our toes, coming into downward dog. Let your head and neck loose, shake yes and shake no. Settle your heels down onto the ground. Ground down through all ten of your fingertips as you create strength in your upper body. Imagine if you were pushing your mats away from each other. So pushing your hands away from your feet. Creating that length in your mat without moving your knees and limbs. From here we gently walk our feet forward, coming into ragdoll at the front of your mat. This gentle forward fold, maybe hands in your elbows, swaying side to side. Releasing your hands here. And we begin to inhale up to a stand at the front of your mat in mountain pose. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears and let them fall behind you. 
few more times. Inhale, bring your shoulders forward and up. Exhale, let it fall. Inhale up. Exhale, fall. Nice job. Once more. Inhale up. And exhale, fall. We flow in sun salutation A. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, dive forward with a flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back, your right foot back. Set your knees, chest and chin down on the ground. Inhale, up to cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. One breath, inhale, exhale. Walk your feet towards the front of the mat on your next inhale. And exhale, release your hands. Inhale, sweep your arms up over touch. Maybe get a slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. Exhale, dive forward. Mm. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back and your left foot back. We lower down with knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Push forward to cobra. And tuck your toes back to downward facing dog. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Hop or step your feet in front of the mat. Inhale, forward fold. Inhale, we sweep our arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, arms up again. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift. Plant your hands strong. Hop or step back into plank and lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog this time. Tuck your toes. Down dog, one breath, inhale, exhale. Lift your heels and hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Release your hands, forward fold. Inhale as you sweep up into mountain pose, hit a back bend. Exhale, back center. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Hop or step back to plank. Lower down. Exhale. Upward dog. Nice and strong, guys. Downward dog. One more sun salutation A here. Inhale, lift your heels. Hop or step. Front the mat. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up again. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift. Plant your hands, hop or step back. Plank, lower down. Upward facing dog. Coming in to down dog. For this down dog, we're going to step our feet mat distance apart, pointing your toes just ever so slightly towards the center of your mat. We're going to come to a down dog twist here. So bring your hands towards the center of the mat so that your thumbs are touching. And with your right hand, release it and grab your left shin, ankle, foot. And if it doesn't quite reach, just go towards that direction. Stay strong for your left hand. And take a peek underneath your left armpit. You got a hold of that leg. Try bending that right arm if there's space. Stay here for a few more strong breaths.
gently release your hands towards the front. Other side, we take our left hand and reach towards our right side. Grabbing shin, ankle, foot, maybe just reaching the ground and looking up underneath your right arm. Nice job. Release your left hand here and bring your feet to touch. Inhale, sweep that right leg up and exhale, bring your right knee towards your nose. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Set that right foot between your hands and inhale, brings you up into high lunge. Take your hands up over your head and interlace them. From here, we're going to make sure our hips are square towards the front of the mat and begin to sink down a little lower. Try to find that 90 degree bend in your right knee. This may be good enough for you or if you want more of a challenge, try looking towards your hands and taking a back bend. towards the ground. Plant your hands on the either side of your right foot. Step your right foot back into plank or three-legged plank and lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, down dog. Nice job, guys. Other side, inhale, sweep that left leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Set that left foot between your hands, find stability, and sweep your arms up. High lunge. Take your gaze up to your hands if you'd like, or even a back. Exhale, windmill your hands towards the ground. Step your left foot back into plank and lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. Exhale, bring that foot between your hands. Set the left knee down, coming into low lunge this time. Inhale, sweep your arms up and gaze forward. See if you can release your left hip here, letting your hip flexors and your left hands, sorry, your left quadriceps lengthen. Option to take your hands by your side if that feels more comfortable, or you can try a back bend. Hands are up, let them fall by your sides, and heel toe your right foot towards the right side of the mat, coming for a brief lizard pose. So setting your forearms down on the mat, letting your right knee fall towards the right side. As you feel that stretch in your left hip flexors, left quadriceps, and all along your right hip. Now, this may be enough for you, or if you want to try opening up your left front hip some more, what you can do is come up onto your hand, plant your left hand comfortably beneath your left shoulder, we bend that left knee and reach back with your right hand to grab that left knee. Often to take a strap or a towel to help you bend that left knee 
and bring it however close you can towards your left foot. This is a bonus shoulder stretch as well. Exhale, gently release. Place your hands firmly down on the ground. Tug your left foot and inhale, sweep that right leg up. Keeping that right leg up, we're going to stack our right hip on top of our left and bend that right knee. From here, we flip the dog. So setting that right foot down behind you and taking your right hand over your body. Stay strong in this wild three here. Keeping your right knee bent, left knee straight. One more breath. And exhale. Make your way back to plank, maybe three-legged. Take a flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog or cobra. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Option to take child's pose here for a few breaths. Otherwise, stay in downward dog. Alrighty, we'll all meet in downward dog when you're ready. Inhale, we sweep that left leg up. Exhale, set your left foot between your hands. No lunge this time. Set that right knee down, untuck the back foot. As you inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Now again, always the option to keep your hands by your sides. Maybe even using some blocks or books for balance. If your hands are up, try the back bend. Toe your left foot towards the left side of your mat. Toes pointing 45 degrees out towards the left as you settle down for a lizard. Getting a nice stretch in both hips. Letting gravity do the work here. Option to stay a lizard, we can come up for a right hip stretch. Plant your right hand down on the ground as you rotate towards your left. Bend that right knee and grasp your right knee with your left hand. See how close you can bring the foot towards your hips and feel your leg pulling your left shoulder back. Nice stretch in the front of that left shoulder. Sinking your hips to the ground. Breathe into the space you create. If you got a hold of your back foot, check your knees. Place both hands down on the ground. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Set it down or take a three-legged flow. Upward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Downward dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. Perfect. Next inhale, lift your heels. 
Then hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. We're going to set our knees down and untuck your toes here. Coming into camel. So your knees should be about hips distance apart. And you're going to start off by placing your hands on your lower back. Now if you already know your back is a little bit tight, try um, tucking your toes actually and that will help it balance as well. So just play with whatever you like. We inhale, open our chest towards the front of the mat, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and exhale, tilt back ever so slightly, letting your head and neck go back. Feel that stretch through the front of your chest and your abdominals. One more breath. And come back up. Take a child's pose. Release that low back. Hands in front of you or by your side. Knees hip. Now we're going to do two or more of these. take the variation that we just did or what you can do is try tucking your toes and placing your hands on your heels opening up your chest again squeeze your hips together bring your hips forward keep that core strong though just to take the tension out of your low back. When you're ready, come back up, take child's pose again. just did or if you think there's room where you want to try playing around with it have the top of your feet flat on the mat as you take this final variation of camel pose fullest expression everyone if you've got a hold of your heels see if you can put a slight bend towards your elbows drawing the shoulders open You can play around with prayer hands as well. Gently come back up. Child's pose. Stay as long as you like your child's pose here. And when you're ready to move, come up into tabletop. We'll release that back a little bit. Inhale as you come up into cow, drop your belly. Look up. Inhale. And exhale as you crunch so slightly. Feel that stretch along your entire back impact. Inhale back up. And exhale. Inhale. Work out. Exhale. Cat. Nice. Come back to neutral tabletop position. Plant your right hand firmly into the ground and your left leg per firmly down. We're going to take our right leg off of the ground and bring your left hand forward. Option to either point your toes back or have them pointing straight down towards the mat. Now you stay here if this is a nice challenge balance for you, or you can try reaching for the right foot with your left hand, kicking your foot into your hand, using that as the force that opens up 
your left chest and your left shoulder. Keep your gaze just about a foot in front of you here. One more breath. Exhale. Release. Other side. Bring your left hand forward and your right foot back. Stay here. Or if you like, grab your foot with your hook. Keeping up, opening up. And exhale, release, tabletop. We tuck our toes and push back to downward dog. Let's do a float to clear all this out. Inhale, lift your heels and hop or step your feet towards the front of the mat. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Hit a back leg if you like. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. And dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Let your hands hop or step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. We're going to come to a forward fold this time. Inhale, lift your heels and hop or step your feet towards the front of the mat. Staying here. So with your peace fingers, so your pointer finger and middle finger, wrap them around with your big toes. As you inhale to a flat back, you feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs. And exhale, begin to fold over, bending the elbows. Using the strength of your arms to pull your head down closer towards the mat. This should be a nice stretch for all the back bends that we just did. Being strong in your legs as you draw up your knees, keeping a nice little bend in your knees. All right, release your hands and we'll roll up vertebrae by vertebrae into the mountain pose. The head and neck comes up. Relax. Take a flow here. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Hop or step back. Plank. Lower down. Upward facing. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Coming to forward fold. Inhale, lift your heels. Hop or step to the front of the mat. This time, you can step onto the palms of your hands. So your toes point towards your heels as, sorry, your fingertips point towards your heels as your toes come up to your wrist creases. So same idea as before. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale as you bend the elbows, letting the head and neck go. Job, guys. Release the hands and slowly roll up into standing. Hmm. So we're going to play with a few standing postures here. So starting off with balancing on our left leg. So what you can do is bring your right knee up to 90 degrees. Place your right hand on your right knee. So this might be it for you, or if you know or you want to try farther, you can extend that right knee and use your peace fingers to grab that right big toe. 
drawing your right shoulder back, gazing forward. Hands can be on your hips or up, depending on whatever works for you. Keep your gaze on a spot across the room that's not moving. Nice. From here, we're going to open up our right hip towards the right side of the mat. So keeping hold of your knee or toes still. Trying to stay as straight as possible you can in your body. And finally, we'll transition to dancer pose. So release that right foot and bring your knee by your left knee. Keeping a bend in your right knee, grab the inside edge of your right foot, feeling that nice quadriceps stretch. You can stay here or begin to kick back with your right foot into your right arm and tilt forward. Bring your left hand up parallel towards the ground. Try to keep your right hip squared towards the left hip here. Gazing forward. One more breath here. Exhale. Release that hand. Now see if you can still stay standing on your left foot as you bow down over towards standing split on your left leg. Both hands on the ground, left hand around your left ankle or both hands around your left ankle. Pick your own adventure here. If you've had enough of that, place both hands down on the ground in front of you. We're going to try to hop, switch our feet. So well, you'll be this way. So what you'll want to do is put weight into your hands as you hop your left foot up and land with your right. Nice job. We'll do a few more hop switches up and land left and up and land right. Perfect. Step back into plank here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing or child's pose. Stay here for a few breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Perfect. Inhale, lift your heels. Hop or step your feet towards the front of the mat. We roll up into mountain pose. Take your shoulders up by your ears and set them down. Balancing series, side two. Okay, let's do this. Firm down through your right leg. Bend that left knee, grab the outside of that left knee or grab the toes. Extend the leg if you've got your toes. Find a comfortable spot for your right. Keep your gaze steady. I find that if I keep a slight bend in my standing leg, so that right knee, it helps me stay a little bit more stable than if it was completely straight or even hyper extended. So keeping that slight bend allows you to engage your big thigh muscles to keep you stable. Now open up towards the left side of the room. Try to stay tall here. Imagine that somebody's got you by the crown of the head and they're just pulling you up. From here, transition to dancer's pose. So flipping the grip so that it's on the inside edge of your left foot. Now you stay here if you like the stretch already, or you can begin to kick your left foot back as you tilt your right hand forward. 
keeping the hips square towards that ground. So emphasizing that stretch in your left front body. Perfect. Release both hands to the ground. Kick your left foot up into standing split. Take whatever variation you did on the first side. Place our hands down on the mat and take a few hops here. So hop your right leg up, land with your left. Hop the left up, land right. Nice back and forth a couple more times. Maybe you hit handstand and you play with that if you'd like. Then coming forward into a plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And this time we'll all take child's pose here. Mm, very nice. So while you rest, just want to let you know about what's coming up here. We're going to move towards forearm stand and possibly scorpion. So we're quite open in our shoulders and our back. If you don't want to do any of that, you're more than welcome to come to Downward Puppy Pose. I've been demonstrating it here and just enjoy that nice stretch in your upper body. Otherwise, what you can do is start off by prepping in Dolphin. So, place your hands down on the mat, shoulder distance apart. Now, elbows are also shoulder distance apart. And you're gonna come up to dolphin. So it's like downward dog, except you're on your forearms. Nice job. So we'll just stay here for about five breaths, strengthening our shoulders. Seeing if you can push your body towards the back of the mat here. down for a rest in child's pose. We're going to broad breath. <laughs> Grab water if you need. If you're ready to try forearm stand and if you've never tried it, I encourage you to move the front of your mat against the wall. If you know what you're doing, you can come straight up towards it. Or if you want to just take um, dolphin again, you're more than welcome to do that. So, a little wall over here. So coming into forearm stand with a wall. So you want to position your hands about a foot away from the wall and bring your arms up into dolphin and lift one leg. It doesn't really matter which one. And you're just going to try kicking up and your feet should touch the wall. And once both feet have touched the wall, try playing with bringing one foot off or both, keeping your gaze between your wrists. I find that's the best spot. See how long you can stay. You just play around with it. Slow down when you're ready. Take rest. Nice. So, if you want to try scorpion, I will talk about that now. Otherwise, you can take rest, take any other back bend that we just did. So, for scorpion, you want to kick up against a wall again if you've never tried it. So, this is how it is going to go. 
Again, coming into forearm stand to begin. And now begin to walk your feet down the wall. Gaze between your hands or even slightly above your hands and play with taking one foot or both feet off of the wall. Breathing, staying strong in your shoulders here. One more breath. And gently release to the ground in child's pose. Enjoy this break. You deserve it. From child's pose, we're going to roll onto rabbit. So keeping your forehead down on the mat and your hands by the side of your body, you're going to come up onto your knees and roll onto the crown of your head. So you should feel a nice stretch in the back of your head here. Let your arms hang loose. Your hips are just above your knees. And relax as much as you can letting your upper body go. Gently roll back onto your legs, bringing your body back up and swinging your legs forward. Starting off in our seated series with um, butterfly. So bring your feet together, knees apart, inhale, straighten your back, exhale, we bend forward. Feeling a stretch in the outer portion of your hips and into inside. Option to walk your hands forward. That feels good. your hands back up and take your arms place them on the outside of your knees as you bring your knees in perfect coming into boat pose so we're going to do a few pilates like movements here so grab the backs of your thighs keep your knees bent and once you found some stability bring your arms out what you're going to do as on an exhale, you're going to lower down halfway. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. And lower. And back up. Now I'm going to go back and forth on each side. So as you lower down this time, you're leaning onto your right hip, bring your hands over towards the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale onto your left hip, hands towards the right. Inhale, up. Now, a few more times like this, just like your own pace here. There's no rush. The slower you go, the more control you're building over your body. And the more awareness you have. So take your time, enjoy. All right, let's all meet at boat pose again. So option to stay here or 
Cross your right hand, right foot over your left. Place your hands by your sides and lift up. Five. Oops. <laughs> Clearly, this is very hard already. Just lift up if you can and release. So, good thing I fell because I was going to count from five all the way to one, but it didn't happen. Back to both. All right, set two. Left foot over right foot. You lift up momentarily and release. Hold here for five. Four, three, two, one. And let's set it down. Oh, that feels so, so good. Okay. Very nice. So coming into some reclined back bends, moving from bridge to wheel. Starting off with bridge, Feet are shoulder distance apart. Plant your feet firmly down. As you inhale, bring your hips back and upper back off of the ground. Option to interlace your hands underneath and come up onto your shoulder blades. Squeezing your thighs together here. Gently release towards the ground. Let your knees fall from the left side to the right side. Back and forth. Windshield wiper motion. Alrighty, round two. You take bridge or you can take a wheel with hands by your ears. Coming up to the crown of your head and pushing up. Now, wherever you are, whether it's bridge or wheel, um, I encourage you to play around with this fun variation. So place your right foot in the middle of the mat and lift your left leg towards the sky, straightening as much as you can. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Release down onto the ground. Catch your breath, sweep your knees from side to side. Now other side, again, take bridge or wheel coming up. And when you're there, place your left foot in the center of the mat. Ground down through your left foot as you lift your right leg up. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Release down onto your back. And give yourself a nice big hug here. Grab the back of your thighs and gently roll up, massaging your back. So maybe a few times coming into a wide-legged seat. So your feet should be just a little bit more than mat distance apart. So it's not quite a wide-legged forward fold yet. It's not narrow, somewhere in between. So remove the flesh from the bottom of your seat. As you inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Imagine if someone's pulling your hands forward. Just go as far as you can. Let your low back release. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings, maybe even moving towards your inner thighs.
stay here if this already feels good for you. We can try for even wider legs. So I just like to go lengthwise on the mat because I feel like it's got better traction for my feet. But you do you. Do what's best for you here. So opening up your legs as much as you like. Taking the flesh from underneath your sit bones. Inhale, sweep arms up. And exhale, let it fall slowly. Maybe you'd like to take a block or a pillow in front of you. Staying here for about 30 more seconds. Let your hands down on the ground, come back up to seated. Bring your legs back together using your hands for assistance. And we will roll down onto our backs, coming into shoulder stand. If you'd like to take any other inversion, feel free to do so. Your practice, your way, you do you. But if you want to take shoulder stand, bring your feet up towards the sky, place your hands on your lower back, and point your feet upward. Try to stack your hips on top of your shoulders if possible, creating a line of all your joints. Being aware of your breath again, and deliberately letting it slow down. Begin to let your feet fall towards the back of your mat in child pose. If you'd like, you can interlace your hands, straightening your elbows. here, release your hands if they're interlaced. Place your hands down, palms down on the mat as you use your arms as brakes to roll out onto your back. together to touch, soles of the feet, feet together, recline butterfly. We're going to do a gentle neck stretch here. So using your right hand, placing it on the crown of your head, and um, first, I guess, look over towards your left, and using your hand to gently pull the crown of your head towards that right shoulder, feeling that stretch throughout your left neck. 
Now take your hands, release them by your side, and walk them towards the bottom of your mat. So you're looking towards the back left corner of your mat here. any built up tension in your shoulders. Just completely passive here. Bring your neck back to neutral position and face the right. With your left hand on the crown of your head, Begin to gently pull the crown of your head towards your left shoulder. I don't know if you heard those cracks in my neck. It feels so good. I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable. It's one of my things that I really enjoy, this crack in my neck. Uh, slowly like that. Settling down here. Gaze towards the top. Bring your neck back to neutral. Place your hands on the outer sides of your legs to bring them together. Now we're gonna end this practice with just one more heart opening here. So I want you to roll onto your or your onto your stomach, coming to the right side edge of your mat. Take your left hand out towards a T and place your right hand by your right body. Look towards the right as you use your right hand to push in and roll onto that left shoulder. So bend that right knee. Now you stay here, that feels good. Or to take it further, you can also come up to the foot of your left foot. <laughs> what is English today? And before you go further, you can take your right hand back to clasp the left. I'm just going to stay here. I feel kind of tight, but if you feel like going further, please do. Onto your bellies, scooch over towards the right side of the mat, right hand out towards a T as we use our left hand to roll over onto our right shoulder, bending the left knee or even the right or even take your hand. to straighten your legs and roll back onto your belly and making way to your back. You made it. Final rest. Shavasana. Find more clothes if that will make you comfortable. Maybe even a pillow underneath. Feet splay out towards the side. 
and let your body sink down to the ground. Take this time to be thankful for something that happened to you. Gratitude is one of those things that can help elevate our mood, and it's absolutely contagious. Maybe even share that with someone later on today, something that you're thankful for. And on that note, I wish everyone a beautiful rest of their day. Stay healthy and stay flexible. Namaste.